lectures. I took the speed app and I uh, work lecture by lecture, prepare notes, speed team. Uh, so the many modules are there and we uh, get an idea how to go about it. And yes, you have to make notes. You have to see the videos. So I bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members of Speed Medical Institute to Dr. Meghna for scoring a topmost rank of AML4 in DM hematopathology. Congratulations, Shira. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Great, doctor. Can we know a brief background history from where you started till date? What all you have done? Uh, yes, sir. Sir, I did my MBBS from Armed Forces Medical College. I am a serving lieutenant colonel in Armed Forces. And Great. I, thank you, sir. And I did my MD from RR Institute, Delhi, sir, Arun Hospital. And uh, then I'm, uh, I did my DNB also. So I uh, got the President's Gold Medal in DNB too. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. And uh, now I will be joining games for DM Metropathology course. Excellent, excellent, doctor. Now, uh, why DM hematopathology, doctor? What is his passion towards how you developed it? Uh, during my MD days only, so I find the hematopathology uh, very fascinating because it connects with our clinician friends in pathology. <laughs> and uh, there is so much development going on in the field of uh, hemat in, in the form of instruments in medicine. So I think it, this is one branch which has a, a personal satisfaction of uh, treating and curing patients and very long follow-up is there. So you can be in touch with patients and see the results. Correct. Exactly. Doctor, what all you did to achieve what you are today? I mean, how did you work? I mean, what did you prepare? How did you prepare? I mean, can you tell us on that? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, sir, I gave my uh, initial attempt, uh, the November uh, I-9 exam. And after giving the exam, I realized it is a tough paper. It will not be an easy walk. So I considered, I took the speed app also. And I uh, work lecture by lecture, prepare notes. And uh, I think there's no shortcut, only consistency. Revisions is the key. And then you have to go through all the slavers and the other things which are available in apps or in the Telegram group discussions and uh, what all resources you have. And then also you're not sure till the result came, what, what is going to happen. So I is a difficult exam. Uh, but yes, I think the hard work and the consistency with uh, which you do and the revisions is the key to that. Excellent. Excellent, doctor. Now, uh, can you tell us how many questions did you have in this exam? Uh, yes, sir. I found the exam difficult and I, although I prepared it, uh, but uh, I found it more difficult than the October last year, October paper. And uh, I think I attempted almost uh, 58 out of 80 questions. Okay. Uh, a little conservative, but you still managed to score a good rank. Yes, because many questions came from uh, histo histo. Although I was more uh, versed with it last time, but in uh, during last six months, I concentrated more on hemat. So I was not very confident on the molecular or the hemat or the investigation part. So I left all those questions, almost 20, 22 questions I left. And there was a proportion of this paper, what all general pathology, how much of hematopathology, how much is histo and cystopathology, something like that. <laughs> when I used to ask seniors, everyone, and in the prospectus also, it's given 40 will come from the subject concern, that is the hemat, and the rest of the questions will come from general path. But the proportion is not that fixed. It's very overlapping. And in the exam, so many jumbled questions come <laughs> because when I saw my first question, it came from histo. I moved to second, up to eight questions in a row came from histopath. So I was like, yeah, I'm giving him an exam, but the questions are coming from there. <laughs> so it's not a fixed ratio. And uh, then the hemat part came. So uh, when we give the exam and the time is too short, like attempting 80 questions in 90 minutes. So you are, all the questions are jumbled. They are not in a row. And the same happened last time also. When I started up with the exam, almost 20 questions came from the molecular aspect of the path. And uh, so many techniques and uh, the integrities were asked. So you have to keep your cool. Uh, you have to go till the end of 80 because uh, sometimes the last part are much easier than the initial when we are attempting. Fantastic. Doctor, uh, can you tell us your experience on the interview? Uh, yes. Uh, interview was uh, like when I asked my seniors and whatever sources I had. So they told me they can give anything. They can ask. They can be a picture prediction also. So I prepared myself for that. What are the common uh, image-based questions. I went through the atlas itself. Uh, but when the interview happened, uh, they asked the basics only. They gave uh, two scenarios which were clinical. They picked up one thing, uh, like uh, they asked me only what cases you have seen in your MD days, what were the interesting cases. And I told them that they asked about the uh, path part of it. And the, I think the clinicians were uh, sitting along with the team and then they asked, uh, and they continued the interview with the clinical aspect. So they gave two scenarios and uh, uh, that's that, that's 
Great. Now, what will be your advice on those aspirants for DM hematopathology? DM hematopathology, I will just, uh, as a candidate, I have gone through the hard process of last eight months, almost, almost eight, nine months of studying. And uh, I found there is no topic which is less important. Everything is important and you can't leave general path. At the same time, uh, you have to verse yourself. Like this time, a uh, few questions came from camerism, from the quality control aspect of the lab. And uh, so numericals were, two, two through three numericals were there. So I think you have to be very meticulous when you're preparing. And you have to just imagine the last month, a few weeks, which you, when you are left with the exam and how we, how you are going to revise all that. Because in the paper, there are very few things which I was not aware of. The only difficulty is you don't get time to revise it. So if you have undergone from last, uh, you have revised those pages in last 15, 20 days, then you are confident enough because so options are very, very close to each other. So I will say ki, there is no topic which is uh, less important. I prepared nicely this time, but uh, till the result came, I was not at all confident I will get through because I knew that I have attempted less. So the thing is, after preparing so much also, uh, nothing is certain. It all depends like uh, how others have also given the exam. Great, doctor. Now, time to thank and whom all you want to thank. They have been part of your career building. I mean, you can use this platform to do so. Yes, sir. So I would like to thank my better half, my husband, uh, for his unwavering support. And I'm having twins also. So wow. thanks to... You are a lucky <laughs> thanks mother. To, <laughs> thanks to them also. For I mean, wow. Well, uh, what, what twins? They are twin boys, twin girls. It's a twin girls, a non-identical Very twin. nice. You are very and, lucky. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, sir. So they have given me time because uh, uh, like at whatever stage we are as a medicals, we have to devote certain time to our studies. And, uh, you know, with the, as we grow and preparing for much tougher exams, the journey also becomes more tough. So they have given me time and my parents-in-law. So all the family and all the help, which I also have in my house, they have given me and we would support for at last two months, especially. Correct. <laughs> and so Very thanks important. to institution also where I work, they have given me leave and the environment so that I can go ahead and move. My teachers are during MD and my training. Uh, so whatever I have studied, I have not revised it. But at some point, there are so many questions which are from MD pattern only, which we have listened to all the teachers which are, 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 who have taught me. Very and nice special talk. thanks to Speed team also. Uh, so the, many modules are there and we uh, get an idea how to go about it. And uh, uh, yes, you have to make notes. You have to see the videos. Some are important topics. You uh, forget also some topics I revised two to three times also. But yes, it was instrumental in um, framing all the knowledge which I got. Thank you, Doctor. And uh, we once again wish you all the very best and all the success for a Thank great you, career ahead for a hematopathologist in making. And uh, Thank definitely you, you will do great because that's your passionate field. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Good day. Good day, sir.